freaking out and wanting it. Uh, caller, you 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 made a great film. I watched it a while back. Uh, 9 11, uh, you know, solved. You you need to get, get that Rumsfeld tape. That's the problem. There's so much evidence that it's like trying to haul the diamonds out of Alibaba's uh, tomb or whatever. I mean, there's just no way to get all the proof out because there's too much of it. You see what I'm saying? Were you aware of that Rumsfeld tape? No, I've never heard of that before, and thank you for mentioning it. I'll have to go look it up. Yeah, I'm going to look exactly, it up right now. Keep that's talking. Exactly the point I was making is that, that those generals that, that are with him, those six Nazgul, as you mentioned, that they weren't necessarily involved in directly in the attacks of 9-11, but because they benefited so greatly from him, of course they're going to go along with it. And that's they, basically the whole structure of the bureaucracy, which allows this uh, inside job to keep and keep the cover-up going. You know what I mean? That's, that's the bureaucracy which keeps it in place, is that there's so much money being made, the oil companies and the military-industrial complex, that all these people sit on the board of directors for, half, for these companies half the time they're, they're, I found it I found it I found it guys punch my screen up please you just type in Rumsfeld tape talking to generals uh, it's global research 2008 uh, and a newly released tape of 2006 neocon luncheon meeting featuring former Wall Street secret uh, war secretary Donald Rumsfeld and, and then they talk about the false multiplier propaganda shills and then we're going to find the audio, but I've aired that audio. Oh, there it is right there. Guys, get me that audio, please. You just go to Rumsfeld, why another 9-11? There's the audio right there. I'd like to revisit, and again, I keep interrupting you, sir, because I'm jumping back and forth here. Please continue. See, I start talking about 9-11, and it just starts, all the memories of it start popping up. Go ahead. Right, exactly, and there is so much information that it's it's really hard when you're trying to make documentary films about 9/11 to really find a, decide what to include and what not to include. Um, what what sort of is the more hardcore evidence, and what's the you know sort of less you know the arguments that sort of lead away and everything. But I, I thank you for having me on and giving me a chance to talk to you, Alex. And I'd like to maybe get on your show some other time. We can d have a whole hour to talk about all kinds of things. Well, I love it when we go to the calls and, you know, a real jewel pops up like you talking about the great work you've done. Yeah, give us your number and your info right now and maybe get you on the nightly news. You can put together some special video for us or something and come on and present it because I saw your film a while back and just thought it was excellent. Your analysis, very straightforward, very calm. You know, it takes different strokes for different folks to get the job done, and I like what you've done, so God bless you. Uh, give us uh, Jeremy's number, John. Please get that and send it on over via the IM uh, to uh, Nico. All right. Very interesting information. Yeah, just type in Rumsfeld, why not another 9-11? And then you can go hear the audio taped at the private luncheon where, I mean, it, it's unbelievable. They're clearly talking about what they staged. So... Same deal over and over again, like the PNAC document written a year before 9-11 by Dick Cheney. It says, without a Pearl Harbor catalyzing giant event, 3,000 dead, which is bizarre. Pearl Harbor killed 3,000, this killed 3,000. We're not going to be able to do this. Take over the world and dominate America. It's a lot bigger than Republicans and Democrats, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we're going to uh, be uh, playing that maybe tonight on the nightly news as a flashback for folks because that's a big deal. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Maximum Yield. You're on the air. Welcome. Hey, Alex Jones. How you doing? I'm doing all right, brother. Hey, thanks for your call. This is Maximum Yield. I'm calling from NCX Now Trading Site. We're currently trading cryptos and currently the safest trading site on site on the net. Uh, I'm calling in regards to you're your calling to plug couple. your your crypto site, but that's uh, that's okay as long as it doesn't turn into my show being a swap meet channel. But but what's on your mind, sir? I want to know your view on, uh, well, I know you're all about decentralized banking, correct? Um, yes, I, I am for it, but it just doesn't mean that I embrace everything that comes down the pike. I, I understand that. And do you see crypto as a huge um, way to decentralize banking? Absolutely. Of course, just like, just like all the different systems on the Internet are. And do you just support that? Do you support cryptos in that way? You want crypto to succeed in that way to decentralize banking? Yes, I want legitimate cryptos to succeed. So that's why we have to research everything. We have to uh, talk about it. We have to learn how it all works, something I've been doing. And then we have to have the courage to criticize things that don't look good to us to differentiate in the market and then have the ascension of good systems. Uh, I'm totally about that, and I'm excited because uh, I'm just a small trader. I just learned how to do it. 
I only have 20 bucks total in crypto, but I made my way up from six bucks within a couple of days. And, uh, you know, it's an exciting thing. And I'm taking it. I'm investing a couple coins for activism purposes and for good causes, such as Maza coin or um, Dogecoin recently built a well in Africa for other uh, people in need. No, it's beautiful. That's, that's just like crowdsourcing ideas or films. That's how we destroy the dinosaur media forever and put a stake through its heart. Because it is a zombie dinosaur. It's dead, but it's still lumbering along, acting like it's the authority. And so I hear you and I appreciate your call. Now, I got more calls here. Senator busted by FBI selling to China Mafia. Another senator got caught uh, reportedly selling weapons uh, to uh, Al-Qaeda type folks in California. We've known about that for years. And, I, and that's my next stack. Petty corruption versus real corruption. I'm going to cover that straight ahead and some Obamacare news on the other side. Maybe do some overdrive and take calls. We'll see what happens. Don't forget, we have the new lung cleanse out. InfoWarsLife.com. It's revolutionary and it supports the broadcast. Go check out this new product. Uh, scare us into going down the rat hole with them. Now is the time to wake up and say no to the new world order. Okay, continuing here with the news. Uh, I'm just going to read these headlines and then give you my take on it. Postal Service employees use travel cards to gamble, pay bills, and go bowling. Oh, my gosh, it's so horrible. Though, if they caught you doing that in the private sector, they would throw you in prison. Let's get, move on to the next thing. Secret Service incident in Netherlands was on heels of car wreck during Obama's Miami trip. The Washington Post says a Secret Service agent on his off hours got drunk and fell down, which isn't a good thing. But, oh, my goodness, a bunch of former military people that become Secret Services drink Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. Humans have only done that forever. It's so evil. Here's a new one. Amid new rules and security, Secret Service confronts agents' conduct. Yes. And here's another one. Exclusive U.S. to require casinos to vet high rollers, funds, and sources so there's no money laundering while the banks launder hundreds of billions in front of us publicly. Now, now, now. This is all just petty examples of where they're going to selectively enforce this to make it look like the media and the government are cracking down on corruption. They, they call it snacks. And they use it to keep the low-level people all scared so that they'll follow orders and be part of bigger corrupt operations. Okay, you're supposed to go after high-level corruption and stuff that hurts innocent people. Not sit there and nickel and dime people over getting drunk. And I'm not saying that's good. It's that the media makes it like it's this big deal. Meanwhile, we do have a big deal. I've known about this for years. Terrorist training camps all over the hills of Central and Northern California, openly protected by the government. But then if the California government in the area wants your house, they'll come shoot you. Literally in a drug raid. You know, there's a lot of famous cases of that. Just just kill you as a hit team saying you pulled a gun on them even though you don't own a gun and plant one because they're gangsters. Now, I'm not saying all California departments are, but a lot of them are. California State Senator Leland Yee indicted for arms trafficking and was supporting assault weapons ban. The FBI claims, and I believe it because, I mean, it's, I don't know any of these Democrats aren't involved in gun running, quite frankly, or narcotics trafficking. I mean, I've covered Democrats before, man, and I've never seen such criminal activity. I mean, they are a criminal group. Republicans, it's more institutional. I, I got to say, most Republicans I know are not involved in criminal activity. The Democrats are a criminal group. That's well known, folks, anybody that studies stuff. I mean, it's, the Republicans will just publicly pass a law to make it a hellish police state or, you know, launch an evil war. The Democrats are a bunch of gangsters. Uh, but um, transferring weapons to terrorist training camps in California, and it's the terrorist training camps that have been on the news for years, and this guy's giving them weapons. Foreigners that aren't even U.S. citizens and can't get weapons. This guy that wants to ban your guns is doing that. That's a real corruption point. The only reason he got busted is he was just so public about it. Uh, I mean, the, the TSA wants to search my kids and put me in a naked body scanner. But the Democrats are arming terrorist training camps. Real terrorist training camps. I mean, uh, allegedly. He's been indicted. So, so, so that's an example of how they divert us off on all this petty stuff while real stuff's going on. We're going to come back in overdrive, Infowars.com, forward slash show if your station doesn't carry it. Visit Nightly GCN news tonight, 7 o'clock.
Infowars.com, baby. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Coast.